in about 10 years, they know one another, and I've been waiting patiently. Jan has not been patient. Every Christmas, birthday, anniversary, she always would think, okay, it's going to be it. Although it is overwhelming to give your daughter away, it is here so satisfying to know that she is marrying one of the finest young men I have ever met. We have come here today to listen to your exchange of consent. For the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Trevor and I have we come here to enter into the marriage of the Virgin, praying the Lord? Are you prepared to follow the path of the marriage to love the Lord and Son for as long as you both shall live? There's so many things I could say and stories I could tell. Words can't express how happy I am. You chose me to stand beside you. I'm truly honored to be here today and to share these memorable moments with you. You're more to me than just my cousin. You're the sister I never had. You're my best friend. You're the Thelma to my Louise.
Lynn's a great person. She's smart. She's incredibly hardworking. She keeps them in the mind, and she's really good to them. And these are two of the greatest people I've ever met, and I'm so honored that I get to watch their love blossom and that I get to be such a big part of this day. Um, I would say let's make a toast to Jen and Trevor and uh, wish them good luck. Uh, but let's face it, they don't need any luck. They're going to be just fine. They're Jen and Trevor.